What is up guys? Welcome back to the Bull Combo. I hope you're doing great. Hope you're having a great day. Today I'm coming at you guys with another Earth 2 video. So stick around while we talk about everything going on this week in the world of E2. Alright guys, so before we get started, as always, if you want to support the channel, you can do so using any of the support options listed down below in the description. And if you don't want to help out like that, you can always help out just by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell to get notified when I post new content. Also, a quick reminder guys, that land giveaway number 6 is now live, so if you want to know the entry details for that, make sure to watch the video I posted on Tuesday regarding the full withdrawal experience. At the beginning of that video, I give you guys all the entry details you need to get entered for this week's land giveaway, so make sure to go ahead and check that out. Also, just a quick reminder that I'll be live tomorrow for the Easter egg hunt. I plan to go live a few minutes before the video releases, and then I plan to hang out for a couple hours and do some egg hunting with you guys. So, if you guys are around and able to join that, make sure to join up and say hey. All right, guys, so let's see what's going on this week in the world of E2. I only have a few topics to get through, but they're big topics, so let's jump right in. So probably the biggest change and the biggest topic on most people's mind is credit card withdrawals that went live over the past week. As a reminder, guys, and if you haven't seen my video already, I do have a video that goes over the entire new withdrawal process from start to finish. It explains everything that you need to do in order to submit a withdrawal request and kind of goes over what you can expect from the withdrawal experience. So if you haven't already checked that out, definitely make sure to check it out. But in short, credit card withdrawals are now live. So after going through a few different verification steps, you can request a withdrawal directly back to your debit card. Uh, and from what I've seen and from some of the experiences that have been shared with me personally, it looks like these withdrawals are going through a lot quicker than the old method. So it seems like people are waiting in some instances hours rather than days to get their withdrawals processed. I know this probably isn't great news for the people that were waiting for the original withdrawal process and have been waiting for a few weeks now. Hopefully they've cleared out that queue or are getting close to clearing out that backlog so that everything going forward can just be done on the new withdrawal experience. But nevertheless, I imagine there probably are still some outstanding or pending requests that were submitted before this was rolled out. So uh, I imagine they'll get to those. And then going forward, we should hopefully see a major improvement in the withdrawal experience. All right, so the next thing I wanted to mention was uh, something that Randy actually mentioned earlier this week, but I hadn't really seen talked about, and that was the Bitcoin scam that was occurring. Uh, it looks like someone hacked one of the Earth2 social media accounts. I didn't actually get a chance to see it happen, so I don't know too much information about it. All I know is that at one point there was a message posted in one of the social medias basically asking for Bitcoin to be deposited to a specific address, very similar to some of the scams you've seen occur on Twitter when uh, some popular celebrity Twitter accounts are hacked, things like that. They usually post a similar message saying, hey, send me Bitcoin to this address. If you send me, uh, you know, whatever Bitcoin you send me, I'll send you triple back, something ridiculous like that. It obviously doesn't make sense or sound legitimate, but people still seem to do it. So just a word of warning, if you ever see something like that posted on the Earth2 platforms, uh, it's obviously a scam. It's not going to be something that they would do, especially not without warning of any sort or any preparation. So uh, if you see that, obviously just ignore it. Let other people know it's not legitimate because we don't want anyone else getting uh, taken advantage of here. But I felt, it, I felt it was serious enough to be worth mentioning here. So just keep an eye out for things like that. Earth 2 is starting to grow pretty quickly. And that means that a lot of people are going to try to take advantage of that growth and try to take advantage of the users that are influxing into the system. So uh, they're going to be doing things like this, phishing attempts, scam attempts, etc., to try to get people's information, to try to get money out of people. And it's obviously really important that we stay super vigilant uh, and keep an eye out for things like this. So the 5CA partnership. We knew that Earth2 partnered with 5CA a few weeks ago based off of a preliminary announcement as well as the announcement on the 5CA site. However, Shane posted the official announcement and the official partnership announcement this week in the Discord announcement section. Basically, it just goes over everything we'd already seen on the 5CA website, explaining what the partnership is, explaining how 5CA is going to assist the Earth2 team in handling support requests, and how they're gonna be utilizing Zendesk, which is actually a pretty big deal because that means they now have a ticketing system in place which is gonna make things a lot smoother, make things move a lot quicker. Previously, they were doing everything from emails. Obviously, that's not an efficient way to do things. It's an easy way to make things get lost. It's an easy way to overlook things. So having a ticketing system is probably gonna make things a little more fair in terms of a first in, first out basis, and just make things more easily trackable, more efficient, and obviously quicker to handle. So these are all really great things. I'm curious to see how the support experience shakes out long term. I imagine obviously this is going to improve things, but I do think there's also a real possibility that they hit bottlenecks along the way as the system grows and as the platform expands. So I'm curious to see how the support team is able to handle that growth and how it scales with time. That's really all we can do is just kind of keep an eye on that and stay aware of how those things are being handled. 
And the last thing I wanted to talk about today, guys, was obviously the biggest event coming up this weekend, and that is the Easter egg hunt. So I did post a video yesterday sharing my thoughts and giving a recap or an overview of everything we had so far on the Easter egg hunt. If you didn't get a chance to see that, I definitely recommend checking it out. Number one, it just goes over everything we know so far about the Easter egg hunt, and it also goes over a few of my thoughts and ideas on how it might go down. So that's definitely worth a watch. Shane also posted a brief update on the Easter egg hunt on Twitter, as well as in the 5CA announcement he posted yesterday. Basically, the 5CA announcement basically said that we were gonna have more information in the next 24 hours, including a countdown. And that is true, there is now a countdown live on the Earth 2 website, on the Earth 2 homepage of the website. If you go there, it shows that it's counting down to 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time tomorrow. That's what time it is for me, so you can do the calculation based off of that. But that's when the announcement video is going to premiere. Uh, the premiere link is already up on the Earth 2 YouTube channel, so you can go to their YouTube channel and you can bring the video up and wait for it to premiere already. You can comment, get in on the live chat, etc. So it's going to premiere at the same time for everybody going to contain the information on how to find these easter eggs it's basically going to contain the information we don't have already which is all of the rules the steps the reporting instructions things like that the really important information so obviously this video is going to be extremely important and basically will kick off the easter egg hunt so there will be an advantage to watching this live so if at all possible definitely make sure to be there and available to watch the video premiere at least so that you can get all of the information at the same time as everybody else like I said, guys, I'll be live a few minutes before the announcement video, and then I plan to hang out for an hour or two after to do some searching with you guys, depending upon how it goes, depending upon how many people join, we'll see how it goes, but I plan to hang out with you guys either way and just do some searching. I think it'll be a lot of fun to bounce ideas off each other and things like that. So again, make sure to join that. Uh, and aside from that, guys, those were all the main updates I had this week for everything going on in Earth 2. Like I said, we didn't have a ton of topics, but the topics that I did have were pretty big topics. I think credit card withdrawals is huge, and I think the Easter egg hunt is obviously something that's been anticipated for over the last month now. So uh, these two things are just big events inside the Earth 2 life cycle. It's also really encouraging, guys, to see the progress that the Earth 2 teams made. I know it's really easy to lose sight and lose track of how much progress has been made in such a short time. But just remember that this didn't really take off until early December, mid-December. And in that time frame, we've had site stability issues addressed. We've had the marketplace addressed. We've had scammers addressed. We've had scam bids fixed. We've had the credit card withdrawals added. And now we have a brand new support system in place, all in basically a quarter, a quarter of a year. So that's pretty impressive. And I think it just shows that the team's obviously dedicated to improving the platform. And I think it's just encouraging for the long-term success of the platform as well. So it's exciting times if you're an Earth 2 user, if you're an early adopter, just to see all the progress that's going on and to see that the team's taking this platform to the next level. I know we're all really excited to see where this goes. And I'm really excited for this Easter egg hunt this weekend, so I can't wait to see all of you guys there. Other than that, guys, I really want to thank you for checking out this video. I appreciate all the support you guys continue to show. You guys are super awesome. I hope you all have a fantastic day, a great weekend, and until next time, we'll see you soon.